Okay, so I've just brought in a little demo today. Okay. Just to just so that you can visualise these decimals that we've been doing. Okay, so this this is one. Okay? So wouldn't they be ones? No, they, well anything can be one. But just for this thing today, that's one whole strip. Yep, that's one whole strip. So how many of these bigger things fit into my one? Ten. 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 So how much is this worth? Ten. Uh, one. one. Ten. Ten. Point Ten. Point one. You've picked the one text up. Point one. So this is one tenth. And how do I write that as a decimal? Point zero, zero, point one. Point one. zero point one. This means one tenth. So all of these pieces, so if I had this, how much is that worth? How much is that Four worth? Tenths. Forty. Four tenths? Forty. Four tenths? Or zero point four. Zero point four. Or zero point four. Four tenths. Okay, so then my next question is, for these ones, I'm just putting one here because it makes it easier to hold, how many of those fit into my one ten. 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 ten? ten. Ten. So how many would I fit? 20, 30, 40. It is, isn't it? So I would fit 100 of these pieces <coughs> into the one. So there's 10 in each tenth. So there'd be 100 in my one. So how much is this worth? How much is this this little piece worth? One, uh, one, one hundredth. Yeah. So this is, so the little ones are one one hundredth. Okay. How do I write that as a decimal? Zero one. Zero zero one. Beautiful. Zero zero one. Do you add this one? Do you like a zero at the other end? I could, yep, I could put it there. Does that no, change no, no, the number? No, no, no. 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 Yes, it does. Yes, that does. Point it was just, um, it was like ten backwards, but now it's like a hundred backwards. Yeah, very good. Terrific. So then my next question is, Zach, how many of those fit? How many have we got here? Right, let's slip one of those um, off. It will be 1,000, Miss Lohan. Ten. 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 Thank you, Zach. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So let, me, let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Twelve. ten. Twelve. 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 Radio. So, can you see... That ten of those fit into my one one hundredth. So how many of these would fit into my one? One thousand. thousand. So this, yeah. So this is one one thousandth. And I like I like Caitlin's thing. We'll just write a thousand backwards. Yeah. There's a thousand. It won't fit. So, today we're going to do multiplying decimals by whole numbers. So if I said to you, what's, what's three lots of, what have I got there? What have I got there? Three lots of, how much is this? Yep, it's two. Two what? Two tenths. So I've got three lots of two tenths. How many have I got all together? Six tenths. I've got six tenths. Yep. Thanks, Zach. So that's what we're going to be looking at today. Multiplying whole numbers by decimals. Yeah. Um, how much? How much is that? How much is that? No. How much is this? Um, one. How many? How many of these? How many of these would fit into that? Ten. <laughs> Can't really do that like that, can I? 
Ah, just do it. Stop being immature and you are cold. Right. How many of these would fit into here? Fit <laughs> us. So How many of these fit into this one? Um, that is ten. Ten. So, and I've got one more. So, how many is this all together? How many have I got all together? So, this is this is ten. And you have to have a hundred, Miss Langhouse. No, you don't. So, how much is this? How much is that? One tenth. This is one tenth, and this is. So, how do I write that? One, no, zero, one, It's eleven hundredths because if I had, this is ten of these, there's eleven. Zach, put it down. And what if I had three, or let's do four times. So what if I had, so this is eleven hundredths. Yeah, because this is 10, there's 11. And what if I multiply that by 4? What do I get? How much have I got there? 0.44. So today we're going to be looking at how many decimal places are in this first one? 2. 2, so 1, 2. And how many are in the answer? 1, 2. So that's the important part, that the number of decimal places in the question, so, because you could think of it as 11 times 4 is 44. How many decimal places are there in the question? 2. So how many have to be in the answer? 2. Can I put these away? Shall we do one more? Yep. Okay. Or should we write some notes? We'll write some notes. Radio. Thanks, Mitch.